Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week's video is Cherry Garcia. Now this is the second time I've made this. The first time all the files on the camera became corrupt, so I had to remake it. Did learn a little bit about making this from the first one. So what you're gonna see now is the final product. So stick with us and I'll show you how to make it. First thing we're going to do here is make a really concentrated cherry syrup. It's almost like a jam, but with less sugar and less pectin. So we've taken our cherries and removed the stalks, put them in a pan and heated with a little bit of water, a little bit of sugar, and brought them up to temperature, a good rolling boil for about five or 10 minutes to soften the cherries down and get that juice out. Then separate the cherry flesh, so you're left just the syrup and put that back on the hob and heat it up for five to 10 minutes again in a good rolling boil. At that point, you can add a bit of pectin if you want to allow a little bit more coagulation to happen. When that's ready, decant that into a small container ready to use later. So in the first video that you haven't actually seen, I actually took the same cherries and soaked them in a sugar syrup. It was a really heavy one-to-one -one sugar syrup. Soak them in that overnight to try and absorb that sugar syrup into the cherries so they wouldn't freeze like little bricks. That didn't work. So what we've done this time is taken some of Opie's black cherries, which are soaked in Luxardo Kirsch. We're gonna prepare the base now. Put your milk and sugar in a pan and get that sugar dissolved. And this is the point where you're gonna add your cherry syrup. Cherry Garcia is a cherry flavored ice cream. So you need that really strong cherry syrup to add the flavor and that color to it as well. Now Cherry Garcia in the stores, I haven't had it for ages, it was really, really mild in flavor. So we're gonna punch it with a lot of cherry flavor here. Once you've got your ice cream base ready, add in your milk powder and then add your cherry syrup, get it to the color you need and decant it into a container. It's at this point in this recipe that I added the cream. It really cools it down quickly so you can put it straight in the fridge without worrying about temperatures. After your base is chilled completely in a fridge, could take two to four hours depending on where you are and what fridge you got, you're gonna load it up and churn away. Again, 15 to 30 minutes depending on the machine that you use. Once that's completely churned, now you're gonna add in the other parts. So this is where we're gonna add in those chopped OP's black cherries. And in this version, we're gonna add the chopped chocolate. Now in the US, it's one thing, and in the UK, it's something else. One recipe has chocolate, one recipe has fudge. I don't know why it's different, but we're gonna go with chocolate this time. Layer it in as you would do normally. Get your container closed up and put it in a freezer for a few hours. Ice cream's been in the freezer for days now at this point because it's Wednesday and I made it on Saturday or whatever it was. So we're gonna get it out, get scooping. There we go. Really nice color, it's like a soft pink. It's actually, it's a little bit more pink than the Ben & Jerry's one. Sometimes you open up, or you used to open up the tub and it was, basically white, but let's see what this tastes like with the Opie's cherries and the chocolate bits in there as well. Really nice, soft cherry flavor going through the ice cream. And that's actually quite important because the Ben & Jerry's one doesn't have a lot of flavor. So you need to make sure that you make a real strong cherry kind of compote, if you will to boost the cherry flavor into your base, otherwise you're gonna really struggle. Not all cherries are created equally. Over here in the UK, we get unknown types of cherries from God knows where. Bit flavorless, to be honest, so I really, really have to boil that down to get that flavor punch from it. I know Ben and Jerry's used to use Bing cherries originally, 
we can't get those, I've never seen them, but I don't know what they do to them either because they never used to freeze hard. Now the first time I made this, the unknown cherries did freeze solid. These ones are not as bad, but if you want to make this, just go and buy Luxardo cherries. They freeze perfectly, they, they bite really well, no iciness. Luxardo cherries all the way. Like I said before, there's two different variations of this, the US and the UK version. Why they're different, I don't know. One has chocolate fudge flecks throughout, one has chocolate flecks throughout, different things. Probably just a wording issue maybe that because Ben and Jerry's add water to their chocolate to create a softer consistency, they probably can't call it chocolate, so maybe it's the same thing, but who knows. But this is a really, it's a, it's a classic. Everyone wants to know how to make Cherry Garcia. I'm a big cherry fan and I was always disappointed with the lack of flavor, but here you've got whatever flavor you put into it. So go to town, choose the best cherries you can find. If you're using fresh cherries, soak them in something for a, a good few days before you put them in here. Otherwise you'll end up with little cherry bullets with no flavor at all. All in all, this was an absolute success second time around. First time around, not so much, but hey, we've got to learn somewhere, haven't we? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Cherry Garcia, Ben and Jerry's. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.